Hello winners! Hello. Welcome, Welcome back to, to our, our channel. channel. I'm Michelle. I'm Natalie. And we are here today to show um, a few exclusives that we received from Corrado Treasures. Um, if you'd like to look up their store. These aren't available anymore because they were a limited um, edition release. I don't know if they're still doing the thing where they're gonna try to release like the extras that they had, like whether it was like returns or anything like that. Um, so keep an eye on them. But if you'd like, I have my link tree in the bio. So go ahead and go in there and then I've linked a bunch of small shops that I like to buy from and all of that fun stuff. But let's go ahead and get started by showing what we're wearing. Okay, so I'm wearing um, this cute Baby Yoda outfit. And I can't tell what size it is. I'm... I'm just gonna keep looking cute. I'm <laughs> just gonna keep looking cute. Alrighty, and I've got a Mamalorian shirt on here, stretched to the max. The Mamalorian. Mm -hmm of my belly right now. I'm just one day shy of 38 weeks. That's gonna be tomorrow. So we're so close. So we're gonna bank up a bunch of videos <laughs> if we can. That way I have them ready and I can try to edit them and everything because I have no idea what's gonna happen in the next two weeks. So we'll see. But like I said, we've got five exclusives today that were released with Grotto Treasures. And so we're just gonna give you guys a quick look at all of them. Nelly, you want to just pick one and you can show it? Mm -hmm. I don't know any of these are hard. Yes, so fair warning, Nelly has no idea what any of these bags are. Oh yeah, and also today I got my monitor. She did! So those of, us, those of you who have been following us a little bit, um, Natalie was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes fairly recently. Um, so her endocrinologist's office is um, letting her test out a uh, glucose monitor so we can see if we like this one or some other ones and kind of just see how she does with the monitor on her um so we'll see how that goes but if i can get it to link to my phone properly because it's not doing it it links to hers fine but for her to share the numbers with me it is not working so i'm going to try to figure that out but anyways so she doesn't know any of these bags she's basically just going to show you what it looks like so go ahead Okay. So, so this one is Captain Rex. Oh, oh, hi, Captain Rex. I'm kidding. You are so weird. <laughs> uh, so this is a character from the uh, Clone Wars cartoon. So as you can see, so I'm I'm gonna show you guys like the all the these bags are made of like different materials and stuff too. So this looks like the normal leather material that you would get on. Um, most of the lounge fly, regular lounge flies, so the faux leather looking and feeling material. It's in like an off cream color with his helmet design all over the front. And um, all five bags are designed to look like this. So the old style of the bags, we have the one big bean compartment as well as the front pocket and two side pockets. So, and what are you trying to show me? Um, so there's like oh yeah, so there's uh, the tally marks I believe that you find on his helmet. I tried getting more information on the tally marks, and it does sound like there's some discrepancy on why there were tally marks on his helmet. Some people were speculating it was kills, but that seems like too small of a number. And there's but, uh, more tally marks. Yeah, so you can see that all over his helmet. There, like I said, it's very nice with all of the different details mm. on there. The most of the details blue. Mm -hmm. That's his helmet. We've got the plaque right on the front over here. It has the crown. Mm -hmm. is, um, Signifying that it's one of the newer bags since um, Funko has acquired the lounge fly. There's a little antenna here. I just want to show you guys too. So it does stick off of the bag, but it is attached by just a small stitch at the top right there. It does have side pockets too. Yes, I did mention that. So. It just has um, the word Star Wars. Ooh. All right. So a couple of things about the inside of the bag. One, it, um, at Natalie said, it does say Star Wars on the inside. And it has a two. It has a pocket. It's a zipper pocket on the inside. I'm so I'm just gonna say that the way that this bag looks is exactly how like I wish the bags would look. Oh. Is it has you know 
it's I still like this old style pocket a little bit better. Some people have mentioned that like you know it is a little bit harder to get into. I get it. The new the new pockets have a nice way of getting into it by being open across the top. It's a lot easier to reach in without getting caught. But I am very happy to have side pockets and an inside zipper. Always helpful. So yeah, so that's the first one. They all have they all they all have back pockets. Did they? Did you just check them all? No, I I checked. The, I checked this one out, so to me that the rest would have side pockets and oh. back pockets. You would think so, huh? Just because they're all made together? Yeah. Alright, next one we've got is Django Fett. It looks like Bubble Fett, but blue. It's Bubble Fett's dad. Oh. Dad. You know the whole story behind it. Anyways, so this is a shiny material. If you guys can see it's reflecting all of the lights I have in here. So it's a shiny material at the top with the faux leather material for the detailing. The plaque is in the same spot over there. And there's nothing on the back. Just more of the shiny material. So there's that one. Again, laid out just like the other one. Being in compartment, front pocket, side pockets. You said you did check that there's an inside zipper? Yeah, okay. So inside zipper and lining except it's exactly the same. Just black and white Star Wars. Look at that one. So there's that one. Next we've got the Mandalorian. With his clan mark on the front there. And again, it's got that same shiny, shiny material as Jingle Fats. So it looks like his armor. Got the Mandalorian sign on his side. And on the back, it does say this, this is, is the way. way. This is the way. Mm -hmm. Again, laid out exactly the same. Same lining. And. Back pocket? Back pocket. So, all, as far as we were seeing, all laid out the same. So this is nice. I'm gonna, I'll let you, I'll update you guys if I do notice any damage to this more shiny material or not. Um, I always do worry with this material sometimes is whether or not it'll scuff easier than others. But still, I'm liking this to that. It's, you know what? I was just thinking about this too. So with the um, Boba Fett one, I noticed one of the main things about the design of the old bag versus the new re-release is that the way they have the helmet on the front pocket and someone pointed out that it looks like underwear and so now that's kind of all I see. <laughs> I know! So now I'm like I can't unsee it! Why do you have to ruin the- it ruins see, the so vibe. Now, you know, it, Anyways, so they I, I did notice that that's one of the things is that it is laid out uh, very much like the uh, OG Boba Fett, where the helmet part is on the front pocket. So if you want, baby, can you reach over to the new Boba Fett so we can just show it really quick. I'll do a full review with like the the new Boba Fett release, but just to show you guys really quick. This is what I mean by um. <clears throat> The difference in the layout. Has that old, has it on the bottom part. The new one has it at the top and people are saying that they actually really do like the top of the new one because usually when you get like um, redesigns of like old designs people are still kind of partial to the old one but I've seen a surprising amount of people who really like the new look. This looks more like underwear. <laughs> you think this one looks more like underwear? Yeah because it's smaller than <laughs> Well, your underwear is smaller on your butt. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so people have been pointing out that this they actually feel like they like this new design better on the Boba Fett, and it's because his helmet looks like, you know, a helmet on the top part with his, like, breastplate and everything there versus having the helmet part down here, and it's just odd shape. So, I, I don't know, it's probably a personal preference thing for people. I love them both. They both have really cool looks about them. I, my only complaint is side pockets. <laughs> I know, that's uh, that's gonna be my thing. 
You know how everyone has like a thing about something they like and they're just like, if only there was like one thing that was different about it. Mine is freaking having side pockets. All right, so moving on. We did those three. Okay, here we go. Here is number four out of the five. You've got Ahsoka Tano in her blue outfit. So I've been hearing back and forth about this one too. People weren't sure whether or not they liked this one because of the eyes. So it's a little bit creepy. <laughs> but I think it's very nice looking. Then again, I, I like the cosplay style bags as you can tell in the background. Like I'm not super picky about whether it's cosplay style or an, old, um, an AOP, which is all over print for anyone that doesn't know because it took me a long, long time to figure that out. Um, but I don't mind the eyes. They are... Pastery. I'm just checking to see if anything's embroidered. No, it's printed onto the bang with a little bit of embossing. This is stitched on there. So again, really nice design on this bag. They stick out just a little bit, but nothing crazy. Again, same laid out as the other one. Front pocket, side pocket, main compartment. The top part's right there also stick up a little bit, but nothing horrible. My, the ears on my like Mickey backpacks probably stick out way worse than that. And just to check the inside. Yep, same thing. Star Wars and pocket. Let me show you guys two really quick side by side of the other Ahsoka Tano bag. So I just got this one in too, so I haven't done a review on this one or anything. But here is the other. Ahsoka bag, and this one is a box lunch exclusive. So there are definitely people, when it was first announced, who were debating whether or not, you know, they should get the new Ahsoka, if they already have this one, or picking and choosing, but it's got her in two different outfits. And this one doesn't have the uh, creepy eyes, as people were pointing out. Are those the time that was a boy? Nope. Girl. But yeah, these are the t these are the two. I know people kind of go back and forth, but it looks like the oranges are a little bit different as well on her face. Um, it's a little bit of a darker orange on the Girl Treasure ones. But yeah, I think they're both cool. So I think if you're a really big fan of the character, um, it is fun to have both of them. But again, personal preference. Some people like one better, some people don't. I'm not a fan of like an almost unusable front pocket like that, where it's laid out like this. So I do kind of, I do prefer like having a pocket I can use in this one. So there's that. I'll do a full review on the other one, like I said, at a later time. And then for the last one in this bundle of five bags. So when it was originally released, they they had those first four were listed by themselves and so you could buy them individually and I want to say the limited edition numbers were a little bit different on them as well. Um, the Mandalorian and Ahsoka Tano were had the most. I want to say they had like 1500 available each and then Django Fett and Rex had fewer. I can't remember how many though. Maybe 800? And then this fifth bag was like a special, special edition release. You had to buy the other four as a bundle and the bundle would include this fifth one. That was the only way to get this fifth bag. So you didn't get any kind of discount. It was just, that was the only way you'd be able to buy this bag. You couldn't just buy it individually by yourself. Um, so now I think there was like 600 bundles that were released. So for this one, here is the special edition one. And this is for the 332nd Clone Trooper unit. Again, from the Clone Wars cartoon. And uh, these are their helmets that they have painted orange. I believe it was in homage to Ahsoka Tano. I am not that caught up on the animated series. I need to. So my knowledge of it is fairly limited. Um, that's what I'm gonna do on my maternity leave is get caught up on shows and movies because I am very far behind, but recovery time will, will be my time to turn on shows and just let them play in the background. 
But the details on this are very cool. As you can see, they're all stitched in there and everything. I think that's one of the cool things I do like about the cosplay style bags on these backpacks is like when you see big prints like that on small backpacks, it's very often just like printed on and everything. Um, but I do appreciate that for the craftsmanship, it is actual like pieces stitched onto the bag. Alright, I was checking whether or not there was like a little defect right there, but it's not. It's just shading with all the lights in here. And yes, again, same Leo as the other one. Good. Side pocket. Uh, nothing fancy on the back, it's just all orange. Yeah. Look at this Same. Same lining, and yes, to the back. So, yes, so we've confirmed that they all look exactly the same on the inside. That's part of the collection. So, yeah. These are brand brand new. We literally just got them in the mail today. I just wanted to quickly do a review and show you guys. Close up of all the bangs. I do want to point out that this is one random thing that I did notice. Is that, so on the other four bags, you know, they have the Grotto Treasures exclusive tag on them, along with the Star Wars tag, the latch fly on it. The Mandalorian one, Din Djarin. Has the exclusive tag and then a Mandalorian tag. I just thought that was fun. All right, Nally's bored because again, she doesn't know any of these characters or anything that well. She just thinks Baby Yoda's cute, right? Yep. All right, all right, guys. That will be it for today. Um, anything else you can think of? Again? No. All right. What should they do though? Like. Subscribe, turn on, turn on the notifications so you know when we post another video, and comment your favorite on um, Mandalorian character you know, I know like none of them besides me in Mandalorian video. And also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and um, Facebook, and then our TikTok. Yes, and uh, I, I've, I've gone back and added this link to some of the older videos, but I'll let you guys know now. I um. I'm gonna put in like a link tree link as well because people do ask me fairly often where to get bags. So fair warning for you newer viewers, old ones, I'm sure you know by now, is that a lot of my bags that I show or have behind me or anything, they're not sold just like in a regular store anymore. They're like old bags and exclusives, so like they've stopped production on them. So the only way you're gonna be able to get a lot of them is um, through secondhand sites like eBay and stuff like that. So you're buying from someone else. You're not buying from an actual like, store anymore because um, they're no longer selling those, a lot of these bags. Um, a lot are getting re-released, so definitely a good idea to kind of just keep an eye out on all of these stores like Facebooks and Instagram. They'll let you know they're re-releasing like old vaulted designs and stuff like that. Um, like Boba Fett got kind of, he got technically not re-released, but like an updated release. But anyways, um, follow my link tree. There's going to be a bunch of, um, some of the small shops that are, they are authorized by Loungefly, so we know that they're legit. I also have a YouTube channel, and it's a gaming channel. I'm going to start posting one video tomorrow. I'm going to post a video tomorrow. I haven't finished my spiel, but thank you for interrupting me, oh, small sorry. child. Sorry. <laughs> Um, I'll plug her um, a link to her page too whenever she gets that going because she's been telling me she's just doing it for months and hasn't started yet. But yes, I will plug her in there. Anyways, back to the link tree. Um, go to my link tree. I've got a bunch of shops listed in there. Um, links to all of them, to all those ones in there. I've ordered from them, dealt with them in some way. So they've, they are legit. They are authorized by Loungefly. Um, and a lot of them I will have codes available for them too for you to get a small discount anywhere between like 5 or 10% in some of the stores or uh, money off anything like that um so go down there check those stores out some of them do have some older bags that are a little bit harder to find now um and i think pretty much all of them do pre-orders for like new bags that are coming out too so they're definitely worth checking out and keeping an eye on them um but yeah that's it for today thanks for watching and we'll see y'all next time